Hi, I'm Vance, and welcome to Repair and Replace. Many refrigerators have a built-in ice maker that automatically fills the bin with ice cubes. Some models will also have a door-mounted dispenser. In this episode, we'll learn how it all works. Also, we'll take a look at some of the common problems. All ice makers work in the same basic way. When ice is needed, power is sent to the water inlet valve. The solenoid energizes and the valve opens for about 7 seconds, letting the water fill the ice cube tray. After the water freezes, the heating element temporarily warms up. This helps release the cubes from the mold. The harvesting arm rotates to push the cubes into the ice bucket assembly. The shutoff arm lifts up, the arm lowers, and the process begins again. Now, if the bin is full, then the shutoff arm can't lower. It will disconnect power until there is enough room for more ice. Some ice makers don't use a heating element. Instead, they completely flip the tray to release the cubes. If the refrigerator is not making ice, then it could be a faulty water inlet valve. Now, if water freezes in the supply line or in the fill spout, then the ice maker tray will not fill. Additionally, a faulty motor will prevent ice from being ejected into the ice bucket. You can learn more in the video linked below. In some cases, the ice cubes might be hollow or smaller than normal. To completely fill the tray, the water line needs to have between 20 and 120 psi. Without enough pressure, less water is dispensed into the tray. In other cases, a clogged water filter might restrict the flow of water to the ice maker. You can see how to troubleshoot this in the video linked below. If the ice maker is frozen over, then it could be an issue with the fill spout. Additionally, a faulty heating element can prevent the cubes from releasing, causing a buildup of ice. Watch the video link below to learn more. Some refrigerators have an ice dispenser installed on the door. When you press the paddle, it triggers a micro switch. The auger motor pushes the ice forward and out through the dispenser. When you select cubed ice, a solenoid will open a flap and allow the cubes to fall down the chute. When you select crushed ice, the flap will stay closed and the ice is crushed between several blades. Some models do not have a solenoid. Instead, the motor will switch directions to crush the ice. If the auger motor fails, it will not push the ice forward. Additionally, a faulty micro switch will not send power to the motor. Now, if the solenoid fails, then the flap will not open and no ice cubes will come out. Alternatively, any issues with the control board can also prevent the dispenser from working. You can see how to troubleshoot this in the video linked below. If you like this and want to see more tutorials and informational videos, then subscribe to our channel. And if you need help, you can call or visit an Amory location to talk with our knowledgeable staff. Thanks for watching.